Good morning, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. I don't even know where to start with this message, so I'm going to ask something. If you've been following me for any amount of time and I've spoken some truth and love into your life, please do me a favor with this video. Stay with me. Uh, I don't really have a structure to this video. I know a direction I want to go. We're going to be in Asha, Asha 3 and Asha 13. So if you got your book, Asha, grab it. We're going to be in, in the New Testament Bible in the book of John, my friends. But I want to just to not be forced. And I, I don't want to have to try to entertain you to try to keep people on, but I don't want you to miss this message either. So uh, I'm going to ask you, if you love me and the Magi and what we do here, stay to the end and let Spirit put this message together. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am overwhelmed w with not only the message, because my friends, it's the most important message. You know, God was just speaking to me so strong this morning. Your life, it's all about loving the people you love success in this life when you go to the other side when you go to heaven when you go to be with spirit my friends success is did you love did, did you love people did, did you leave the place better my friends it's, it's not about success with money and fame and getting things my friends those those things are great you know enjoy those things while you're here sure but how you're going to judge your success is by how many people you loved. And I don't want you to miss this, my friends. It's so important. Another thing, there's so many things we're going to cover here, my friends. So please stay with me. I love you guys. You know I do. I, I wouldn't waste your time if I didn't know how important this is. You know, and I want to touch on this. I, one of my favorite things to do is watch near-death experience testimonies. And one that really touched me, it was a man, and he found himself in hell because he didn't love. He wasn't a nice person, and he knew it, my friends. And he was in hell just being tortured, and something inside of him, in his heart of hearts still, said, cry out to God. And he didn't know how to do that, really. He was an atheist, and the words that came to him, four words, he said, Jesus, please save me. And my friends, he said a light showed up and, and removed that darkness and that terror and that fear and took him out of hell. My friends, let that be our prayer. Say that with me right now. Jesus, please save me. My friends, there's power in those words right there. So full of emotion, guys. And I want to start here so you know why I'm feeling this way. And I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm actually excited about how things turned out. Excited about where, what we're going and what we're doing. We're doing things, my friends, I, 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 I've read about but didn't understand. In the writings of Jesus and Zarathustra, talking about praying for the dead, my friends. You, you know, Dion just did something. A year ago this month, I prayed for this particular individual, this being, this feminine, <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, Dion, on the other side of the veil to be saved, where I had tears in my eyes and my heart, I wanted her to be saved. And my friends, I, I, I couldn't have got this message to her. You know, we didn't hit it off, but still my heart was moved towards her. And it still is, because I could see the good, my friends. And I feel she was unjustly accused in some areas. She made some mistakes in some areas, like us all. But my heart was torn. And I want everyone and everything to live in God good. Everyone and everything deserves peace and protection and love and justice, my friends. And, and that's where I came up with this saying, save them all. You, you know, there, there was a saying here, and I, I, I'm, I'm sad to say, but it was kill them all and let God sort them out. My friends, and I've heard horrific stories of this, the innocent, my friends, being killed just because of the way they looked, my friends, and they didn't have time to figure out who's a good one or a bad one or an innocent one or a guilty one, and, and the soldiers would just go in and kill them 
all my friends. Our, our motto here, save them all. No one left behind. Not in this world or the next. My friends, until everything is God, good, love, peace, everyone living in protection and goodness and truth and the real. My friends, we haven't done our job yet. And we're doing things uh, I didn't understand before. It was even thought possible, my friends. But I'll tell you what, love transmutes everything. And it's beautiful. But, but it's, I mean, it's probably 20 years ago, my friends. I heard God tell me everything's going to fall apart. But hold on to one thing, Jesus. And my friends, I, I, I was living in a million dollar home overlooking the ocean with my beautiful wife and my precious little children. My friends, I was in Bible college. I mean, everything was going pretty good, my friends, except for in my head. Because there was some contradictions and things that, that weren't making sense that they were teaching me in Bible school. and Things I was seeing in the world, my friends. And my, I was praying out to God to, that, that I, I would truly see Him and, and see truth and reality. And, but it was going against the things I was being taught, my friends. And God spoke to me. I remember where it was, my friends. It was a, right before the freeway entrance. There's a gas station there. And God said, you're about to lose everything. Everything's going back to the foundation. But hold on to one thing, Jesus. And my friends, I lost the home. The wife left me. I only got to see the kids on the weekend. And it, it destroyed me, my friend. I went into such a depression. I, I don't even want to get into it because it, it, I don't want to go to a low frequency because we're going somewhere here. But my friends, I did. I held on to Jesus. And so as I'm giving this message, it's kind of hard as it's bringing up these emotions, you know. And just two months ago, I was down in California and I saw my home. And it could be bought for about $1.6 million. And my parents, God bless them, they said, do you want it? I'll buy it for you. And I thought about it. I really did, guys. Uh, but the more I thought about it, I thought, no, because... My beautiful wife wouldn't be there. My, my little babies wouldn't be there running around in the yard. The, their rooms would be empty. I'd be alone in this place. Just thinking of the ghost of what used to be, my friends. It was too painful. And, and so I, I had to start thinking about, you know, we moved up here to the mountains. And me and my children were closer than ever. Even though I had them for a shorter amount of time. My God, we took advantage of that time and, and we created a beautiful life. And my daughter said something so beautiful. She said, thank you for raising me up there like that. I, I love the way I was brought up, my friends. And me and my kids were so close. We were best friends and we played together. And, and I, I got to know the true God, my friends. And I don't know if all this would have happened if I stayed there. You know, I, I don't know what that life would have looked like. And I, I got to know the all good spirit that we talk about here every day. My friends, the all good God that has no attributes of the evil spirit. I, I, I wasn't taught that God before, but it was in my heart and I knew it. And that was that fight back and forth of what I was feeling inside. And then, it would, then who they were telling me God is and who they were telling me I was. And it, it, my friends, we discovered something completely different, didn't we? And, and so I, I want you to... Grab your book and go to Asha 2. Asha 2 says, no only good. My friends, in our religion, God and good are the same thing. No only the true God. The, the true idea of who God is says, perceive and understand only God and let your experience and practice be the same. Now get this, be aware at all times of your high standing. Always remember the covenant written on your mind. In your heart of hearts, my friends, this is in there. That you may never forget you are a child of the King. You are a son and daughter of God, my friends. And I want you to think of this. We're going to be talking a lot about Word today. This is Word. Sons of God is Word. Jesus is the Word. Jesus is the Son of God. That was His Word that you and God are one. No separation. You, Jesus, God, one. You are sons of God. You might be thinking, Megas, that sounds too good to be true. Grab your Bible. Go to John. The very first book of John. 
Are you guys still with me, my friend? I promise you we're going somewhere. It says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. My friends, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. What is the Word? Jesus said, If you believe my Word, you will be saved. What is his Word? My friends, it's that Jesus is the Son of God. You and Jesus, one. You are sons and daughter children of God. That's written in your heart. My friends, and you are one with God, good, love, peace, joy, power, freedom. That's the real. My friends, that's where salvation comes from, where you're no longer begging a God, a deity in the sky for things. You decree and declare out of the place that I am one with God. I am divine health because God cannot get sick. I am free because God is free. I am love because God is love. We restored God's name. What is a name? To be saved, you have to believe on the name of God, the name of Jesus. What is the name? It's an identity. Get this, it's the true identity. Because many people put identities on God. Some that he hates, wars, kills, kills men, women, and children, my friends. That's not his true identity, not his true name. You receive his true name. Where do you find that? The Christ inside of you, the truth inside of you, my friends. And you are sons and daughters and children of God. That's the word. My friends, Jesus, the word in you. You and Jesus, one. I just want to read to you some different passages out of John. And my friends, this word, it's going to bring understanding to you. And in understanding, there, there's knowledge and there's a knowing. And in that knowing, my friends, we're talking about that knowing of where the two Become one. You know it. You are it. You be it. It says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Get this. I and my Father are one. My friends, it's that oneness. It's that understanding that name, that identity of who God is, who Jesus is, and who you are, my friends. Jesus said, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Again, his name is his true identity. My friends, Son of God. What does Jesus say? That I am in you. I am in the Father. You are in the Father. The Father is in you. We are one. That's the, the name, the identity, the, the true name, the true identity. We speak from that place. I am one with God good. Jesus and I, one. I'm speaking from this frequency. I'm not begging. I'm not hoping for something to happen. I, I'm creating from this place. My friends, we start being thankful. My God, I'm thankful I'm one with divine life and divine health and divine peace and joy and kindness and power and freedom and God good. My friends, I, I, I've received that word, that true identity. I am a son, daughter, child of God. My friends, and, and that's what starts to transmute everything. It says that that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Is today the day? My friends, is today the day? At that day ye shall know, I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. That's the word. Can you believe that word? Can you receive that word? Can you take that spirit, that, that name into you, and be it? My friends, today be God good, be love, be peace, be joy, be kind, be God. That's taking the Spirit into you. My friends, you've been lied to. 
the religions today, they tell you, you're a dirty sinner. And you, you, you can't be good because it's in your nature, your human nature. But all you can do is beg God to save you. My friends, they're missing it. The word that you receive is that you and God are one. You take that spirit into you. You are that. You are love. I am no dirty sinner. I am a child of God. And now I know who God is. We've restored his image with the true message of Jesus, the true message of the Magi, that God is the highest principle of good. He doesn't get angry. He doesn't hate, war, kill, get jealous, do evil spirit things. He doesn't send sickness and disease. He can't. My friends, and so many people have taken that mixed spirit into them. And that's why they are who they are. Because the energy that you hold is what you are. The spirit that you take into you is what you are and what you create in this world. And that's why you see maybe in your life in this world, love sometimes, hate sometimes, peace sometimes, war sometimes. You're kind sometimes, you're mean as hell sometimes. My friends, we got to restore his name, his word. My friends, go to Asha 13 with me. You know Asha 13 is my all-time favorite. The original word, the original word, Jesus says, if you receive my word, you receive eternal life. The original word is all good comes from the creator and no evil comes from him. All good. My friends, God and good are the same thing. All good, all love is his name. His true identity. Have you taken God, Jesus, into you? His true name. It's all good. It's all love. It's all light. It's no longer mixed. That confusion that maybe you've been in. My friends, my life had to be torn to the foundation to bring this message to you. So my God, I hope you receive it. God is not mixed like you were taught he does not get angry, jealous, hate, war, kill, do evil spirit things. His true name, his word, is all good, all love. My friends, and you receive that spirit into you, and it changes you. You restore your identity. You take that word into you. That word becomes you. You and Jesus, one. You and the loving Father, one. And we change this world and I want to leave you with this. Jesus said, I command you to love. And man, I could picture him with tears in his eyes because he knew what this meant. I command you to love because that is victory. My friends, love yourself. Love your enemies. Love your family. Love your wife. Love your children. Love everyone you come in contact with, my friends, because that's everything. That's the word. That's God. That's good. I love you guys. See you next time.